All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And today we are out at the medieval world cuz why not? We're going to we're going to show off um a mod called uh PK Arcs as we take a nice little tour around the city here. It's not a city, it's a town. Um I did more on the modern world. And that'll be in the next episode. But look at this. We have a little uh, <laughs> grape, a vineyard. Yeah, that's what that's what we're going for here. Kind of cool. So we're going to finish this up. But um, right here, I'm going to put in, because I got some, uh, cr I got some, um, what do you call it? Um some good creative feedback on and the person said well you should put music and time lapses and stuff like that in and yes but the music part uh everybody is being hammered with uh copyright strikes and everything else even if they even if they legally license the music they've been finding um samples in the li legally licensed music that aren't licensed so a bunch of big name people have been copy struck and it, it it's really it's really bad so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show a real cool uh time lapse right here for two minutes of how i got to this point so enjoy okay and here what we have is uh i'm building the wall it's real cool uh, putting in a time lapse, but you're going to notice something in in a minute, and that's I'm using the wrong texture pack. So I'm just trying to flush out the um, the frame, as you'd say, the, of the building, and uh, it was really cool because I, I have the I took the Mac and recorded QuickTime as a different player, and then <laughs> used the uh, the Lenovo to actually do the actual build on it because I'm more comfortable in quick time of speeding up and, and making slowing uh, slow motion clips. So it worked out. It worked out pretty cool. I got the time down just enough to it. It turned out good. It's not the same thing as like in Minecraft where you can use the replay mod to follow you around. So you'll see, I have to manually move, but, um, I think I captured the effect. And my, look at that, that diamond, um, <laughs> diamond armor. And that's where I realized I was using the wrong texture pack because of the pine stair blocks for the roof. So I am going to fix that. Look at that sheep in the background. Yep. And here we go. And now it looks normal. Well, it's medieval. So the whole thing came about, I was watching um, Andy as Yoda and he was building, he was building like a, a grape, uh, a wine processing plant where they would squash berries or uh, squash grapes. And I liked the concept. I just didn't like the way uh, his building was. And that, that, that's where my building came in. I wanted a more, I wanted a bigger building and I wanted an underground like wine cellar to put in there. So it would lend to the effect and tie in with the castle tunnel. And now just putting in the stairs and other stuff. And we are going to go back to the main video. As soon as I finish putting these stairs in and the rails, because you got to be health and safety conscious. And that was cool, wasn't it? Yep. So <laughs> that's, how, that's how we got here. So I got some grape, uh, some vineyards in here. We're going to put some more in. And we got this house over here. Let's come up to the second floor. We got this cool balcony. Got to add some more stuff here. I'm not sure uh, that I'm going to keep the the spruce wood there. 
I'm going to test out some of the other stuff. But let's go um, let's go back out to this gate because what I'm going to show you is really really cool, and it's the arc the arc mod addition by too many nodes with the art doors because we're going to use some of them. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's acacia, pine, aspen, um, the uh, iron bar doors, bronze, steel, tin, and they work really cool. They give a real nice effect. One of the problems that I find with this is that I tend to, what is this? Stone brick. I tend to build yeah, where everything is odd. And we're going to put some stone arches here because we need them. As you can see here, that, that looks kind of cool. We're going to use these, the bar doors here. I think I put that arch too high up. Yes, it did. And the reason why is a lot of my stuff is centered and it needs three high. So let's make that look better. Come on. Yeah, stone brick. <laughs> that was completely the wrong, the wrong one. So what we are going to do, okay, the doors now fit is not sure what I want to do about that. Because what I could do is move those in one. I, I'm hitting the wrong, geez, that looks a lot better. Ah, let us take that out and put in this before we go to the second one. Because I want to get, there we go. So there, we got this real cool archway. I think it looked a little, just slightly better being taller, but it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it, look, it looked a little bit better taller, but and that's, not a, that's not a problem because I could go back and just fill that all in. But it's just a, just a little gateway here, and we're going to do the same thing over here, except... These are pre-measured correctly. I want to put these in to see how they look here. And then figure out So it kind of it kind of gives a nice little woodsy hmm It'll work. I also need to figure out some windows. Oh, the windows are easy. So we come back in here. This is going to be where they work on the grape vines. But back in here, we're going to do the same, the same thing. I'm going to use these. So it gives a whole different atmosphere. Um, then this is going to be where everything is stored. And then what we need here. Now this is cobble. Uh, I purposely figured that out. We're going to use the same one here. And go back here. That looks okay like that. So how's everybody doing? It is 80 something degrees out here in Chicago land. The heat wave is uh, finally subsided. Now on this side, we are going to use 
we're going to use these doors. So that blocks off. This, this is like the secret entrance back here. Not really, not very secret, as you can see right here. I might close that off. I don't know, because this whole hallway is supposed to lead to the back part of the, the castle. But that looks kind of cool. So you have this, you have this delivery way back here that's going to lead to the castle. And then we are going to play with with this so we got all our doors in and everything i want to what the one of the things i want to do with this is i want to create a um like a hobbit hole i think that would be really cool i'd like a, a hobbit house built into the side of a hill and i'm going to try that so let's get us some barrels Yeah, i don't really want to use that and of course, I've spelled that wrong. So we need this, this. That's kind of cool. There was a um, a thing for mashing grapes. I think that was in home decor. I don't know. I, I will have to look for that. Cause it's not under. It's not under wine. it's not under grapes we have the trellis we have that I'll show you how I did that A bucket of grape juice cool so let us deck this out real quick before we go up and do the other because this is where all the barrels are gonna be now I want these to lay I want them to lay down. And it's, oh, there we go. Uh, you know, and I had figured that out and was so, so proud of myself to figure that out <laughs> that I forgot it. So this wall is going to be for, for that. Of course I put it in the wrong place. And I did it again. Boy, I'm batting a thousand here on there. So this gives us that. We need some, we need that table. And I'm not sure how. So over here, we're going to create a table and then put one, put these here. Make it look cool. They walk in. That's cool looking. Now, what else do I want? Because this is where the done stuff goes. I want to turn that. Yeah, just like that. I guess. We could put a table there. To get that lamp off the jeez. This is uh cobble. And let's put a table here and put the lamp on the table. Because there um there we go. Very nice. So you see here, so you have the two and I have it centered in here, but usually my my stuff is um odd so that the roofing and stuff fits. So this is really cool. So now out here, what we are going to do is we're gonna put some more barrels in and put a couple tables in because this is where they're gonna actually mash. Put that there. I have to find that thing. You know, that thing. Put some barrels back here. Oh, the baskets. That was another thing. We don't want this right now. I don't like that. Ah, so blueberry pies. I think I thought there was an empty one. 
blackberry. And there's an empty basket. And strawberries, because we are going to plant some strawberries too. And then this one. Go there. So I just want to give it. I just want to give it a a thing of what a working farm might have. These could be empty barrels. I wish I would, I wish I remembered what, oh, I want that basket, but not that one. Um, is it a tub? Yes, it is. Tub, cottages. What else could we use from there to make this look more appealing? So we were going to put some tubs back here. Because they're going to, they're, that's where, they make the said um, concoctions. And I think we are getting, there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Because there's no really way to put any grapes in. Then out here, we are going to continue And I'm gonna I am going to um so we we make this this kind of path and I'm gonna just fill it in with other other blocks and stuff like that, gravel to make it look really cool. So let's go back to daytime real quick. We have some more plants to plant. How do we want to do this? I want those baskets. Oh, I need my hoe. And, uh, let's see. Over here. You know, it doesn't matter. Because I want to fill this whole area in. One of the, one of the strange things, and I already, I already hid water underneath. So I could do it here, but we're not going to. Man, I am just hitting all the wrong blocks. Put that in there. Put that there. And uh, this is out of... Where's that trellis from? Farming. So that's really cool. We're going to put some more over here. So what I, what I did is I buried water sources under the ground to make all this, all this work. And I want to put in some strawberries. So we're going to come back here. And I did them in um, multiples of seven. So I am on the Mac again because I recorded that little that little um, time lapse, which turned out really cool because um, I haven't, I've figured it out. And we have a tree here. Hmm. Yeah, let's put one more. Like it's gonna like it's gonna hurt anything. So I recorded that and, and used iMovie to speed it up, which turned out perfectly. And I'm still working on learning with uh, Shotcut. So in essence, I have three three computer platforms where I literally have. I'm gonna put some more water here. I literally have enough. Hey, where am I? Oh, I'm out here. There is water there. Oh, duh. And I don't need this much. But it works. I'm going to make sure that everything is well waterized. 
because out here I want to put some strawberries maybe back over over here so yeah you have this path in here let's go and finish this up I like working with the farming stuff I think it, it really makes the um, area come alive and that's one of the whole and that's like anything in this where we're going to take a look at the inside of the house but the furnishing and the details are what really set everything apart now did I put water here no and just to be on the safe side I'm going to put it in here and then fill it in I think we can leave this over here because of the uh, moving the camera around because of the trees but I want to put in I want to put in uh, some strawberries too because it, it's not only grapes Hmm. I'm just going to come over here and do this here. I don't think the strawberries need as much, as much love as, as the grapes do. Ooh, weeds. Didn't see that coming. No, I don't want to grow lanterns. There we go. So that, that will take care of that. Then we'll move on. Because I have some other cool stuff to show real quickly. I don't need all this water. I think the... The rule is, is like a, um, a space of four. Then we'll cover that back up. And we will be done with that. So we have, we have that in here. And over here, there's going to be a pathway that leads up to here. And can go to the front. So on that note, let's get some gravel. I think that's one of my favorite textures. Is the gravel. Plus the, noise, the, uh, the sound that it makes. And then we are going to throw some... We are going to throw some uh, dirt in here also to make that really cool. Kind of randomly place that. That's one of the things that I really like in, in, um, in Minecraft is the the path tool i think that's really cool so now we are going to fill in i kind of don't even need to because i think in the in the, where the grass it looks really cool i want some that's cobblestone i can throw in some brick in here too mm -hmm. because I want to give it I want to give it a um, ooh deep stone I want to give it a, a, a woodsy type atmosphere but I like my paths being being three.
I think that looks cool. And there's going to be some more bushes and stuff like that. We are going to really make this area come alive. All right. That does that. Oh, windows. We need windows. Mm. I don't want to do a lot over here. But I do want to do some because it's got to look, it's got to look, um, prairie like, if that makes any sense. It, it, it can't be too, it can't be too, um, too clean, too clutter free, cutter, clutter free. I can't even talk. Not really sure what I want to do about this area here. It kind of, it almost screams that it wants an awning. And I'm not sure what, um, what I want for there. So let's get rid of this stuff. And we have trellises and grapes and all that other fun stuff. Let's put some, I want to put some baskets around here and here just so it, it's like um, they're, they're, they're going to pick it. So we put some there for some effects. And you see, I want, um, hmm. I'm looking for. I think it's in dark age. There we go. So. Let's see how this looks real quick. The only problem is, is when using this. Hmm. When using, when using these, it, whatever you do on the outside also goes through on the inside. So let's take a look back. I like that. And then we'll put a, ouch, and then we will put a window. So let's mimic that. No. And that's another thing, getting, um, Reacclimated when you move between operating systems and computers, like the the mice and the keyboard and stuff like that, act differently. So this is the interior. Oop. We fell. So this is the interior. So what we were going to do is I want to take, and as you can see, it bled through the front. See how this is so this is so simple to do that and there's gonna be a fireplace off the back there. I really like this medieval this medieval chalk. It it uh, it also gives a nice the wood is nice, but this chalk it gives a presence like it's it's more more inviting more um upper class than just your typical stone so now we need to go oh, i think we're in the same part here squared glass and i think that's the one i want there is another I don't want to say it looks more high class because that would be that would be wrong. Wooden bars. Wooden grill. I want to see what that looks like. Not for not for what we were using it for here. This ain't the glass I want. 
because the other one is it's more of a milky but it's in the same area um There it is. That's the round. Hmm. I was looking for the square glass. And it's not going to let me find it. Of course not. Oh. I wanted that too. I love the, the little difference. Now, where did I put it? We're going to put, we're going to put this in here just until I find I want the this square milky glass, but this will do what I need it to do right now before we end this episode. So it gives it a real cool look. So this is the this is the quarters for this is the quarters and then back here there's going to be a stairway that goes up and we have this whole attic area that we are going to Wow, this mouse just floats. There's gonna, yeah, and there's gonna be some dormers put on here to make to give this house a um, a lot better. Now, do I wanna? You know what I wanna do? I wanna keep keep continuing with that. Because I really like the contrast that that gives. But that's all up to everybody's individual taste. So that looks cool. Come back here. Do this, and then we will call it an episode. Because I have no idea. When recording on the Mac, I have... I can't see a time, and I forgot to set a timer. But... See, that, that looks really cool. With, with the... I like that. Have this little balcony here. I want to put another tree in. And I thoroughly believe that the landscaping makes it. So we have this here. We're going to put something on this side over here. There you have it. There is our little, um, there's our little winery and vineyard. I'm going to do something with this uh, fence over here, this stone wall. So we have, we have a little gate. It's not meant for anything other than decoration. But we come in here, and this is where they make the, uh, the wine or the castle. So there you have it. So we have, we have all this. I'm going to do something to beautify this because this is just way too plain. And I will figure that out. Put some kind of decoration in here, make that make that really stand out. But then we have we have where they make the wine, and this is where they store it. And then we have the uh, the backward way. And I really do like. So what that is is that's an addition. That's uh, too many nodes added these these art. Um, doors, which fit perfectly in with the PK arcs, which was a mod created by somebody else. But that, that just fits in there just so nicely. And that leads to the castle and to the other side of the pro the other side of the property. And we come down here and I'm going to extend the path out here to come down here. There might be too many flowers here, but I can take those out and just put in, just put in grass and stuff. Yeah. So there you have it. 
there is our little winery. You got to see a little time lapse of how things got done. Um, it fits in this area real nicely. So this little uh, medieval style town over here is coming along nicely. Then um, I still haven't done anything on this side of the castle yet. I have to finish this side. And... I didn't do a lot of landscaping over here. I put some trees and such in just to give it a real cool appearance because these grounds are supposed to be, you know, really nice looking. So that's going to do it. So thank you very much for uh, joining as the sun goes down on our little uh, sleepy little medieval town here. I want to put one of these in too on that. So if, we, if we're coming up the hill here, you can see, oh, this, is start, this area is starting to look really cool for me. <laughs> you might say, no, nah, man, it's ugly. I'm going to do something here to um, mix this up a little bit. It needs, it, it needs something. There we go. Cool. Look at that. Even at night. It just looks so cool. All right. So that is that is going to do it. Let me close this up and, and go home here. <laughs> Another thing I could do instead of using those doors is I could have used the um the same doors like I used on the other barns and such. And that would be um the uh the gate. And that would take care of that. I love these bushes. So those, I'm going to put a bush over there and go and go from there. So that's going to do it. And again, thank you very much for uh, joining me. And uh, we'll go from there as I come back home and overlook the area as the sun sets. All right. Until the next video. Goodbye.